How I draw inspiration. This is one way that I draw inspiration. I have many ways, but one of my favorite ways is just to jump on Pinterest. Um, I know a lot of you probably use Pinterest and so when you start pinning things on Pinterest, a lot of times it'll bring up things that they think you might like, okay? And so, and a lot of this I do like, like the block printing right here. And this, I'm just going to try to see if I could blow it up a little. This is like a, a quilting applique. And I can save these to different boards. See, it already comes up printing. And so these are great ways, you know, to draw inspiration. You can draw inspiration from colors also, like this, the birds over here, some beautiful, beautiful fall colors, I would say, in that. And really with upcycling, you know, most people um, that like upcycled clothing don't always have a set color that they're wearing. You know, they like a variety of colors. So you don't always have to uh, just do what's for spring or summer or fall or winter. And so I love this. I love this piece right here. And I even love the apron. Um, right there and even these colors these were some of the first colors that I created with and if you see I have a board that said inspired by um, that's a board I keep lots and lots of inspiration on but normally the first thing I do is as I scroll through my feed and see what's on there hair yeah <laughs> I don't normally have hair that shows up on it but for some reason I did today um, but I do like the color of her hair. This is cool, large scale wall art ideas. See, I would take that, um, also and think about putting it on fabric. You know, how could I put that on fabric? Um, so that's kind of how I draw inspiration. It's just from things around me. And so, <clears throat> I just keep scrolling a little. I love this. I have a, a board called the Quilted Dress um, because I have these ideas of doing quilted dresses. Um, not the whole dress quilted, I don't think, but just pieces of, you know, patchwork on a dress, you know, squares. And so... That is basically how I do it. I just I just keep scrolling onto Pinterest and see if there's any colors or anything that just grabs me. Like, you know, you just see all kinds of wonderful things and the button, the heart button. You could do that on a dress. You could take that idea and do it on a dress. I love this a lot. That's really cool. I probably wouldn't do it as a skirt, but at the bottom part of a dress, you know, something along those lines, you can just draw inspiration from that. Not that you would do the exact same thing, but, you know, you could look for fabric that has a big bird in it, you know, and then the color block, the way they color blocked it in, like that. And see at the bottom right here, this piece was added on last, this piece right here. Now, I love this. I love just the two different colors right there and the bird. Those would go well together. So then you could <clears throat> find some fabric that um, were in those color ranges or you could do your own printing. And so you could find fabric that had bird in, you know, birds in it. Cute little bunny if you wanted to do applique. some hand stitching and here's three easy ways to paint a rug but you could do the same thing on fabric 
So they just use the cookie cutter and a brush. So this is a lot of the ways that I would draw inspiration from this. This right here could be used as um, some freestyle stitching instead of wire. So if you wanted to put that on a dress right here, you would just set, you know, do your machine for freestyle stitching. I would do it in black thread. <clears throat> so basically this is one of my number one ways to draw inspiration. It's just to go through through Pinterest and see what they have. And it doesn't always have to be fabric. Like for the quilting, you know, the quilted dress, you know, I could do uh, a block like this on the back or, or do one block, you know, in the um, dress part, you know, things like that. So you just got to be open. Look at these. Look how bright those colors are and fabrics. Those are just all hand stamped probably. Um, would be beautiful on linen or cotton. So do you see anything in in here that you like that you know that's inspiring you? You just have to look through your feed and and see. And then if you know, you can also go to the people you follow like this and do it that way. So lots and lots of options, lots of options.